Hello, everybody. My name is Heng. Welcome to my garage, Heng Garage. My name is Chad with the Automotive and Travel YouTube channel, CB Media, and today I'm here in Bangkok, Thailand with my friend Hing. Hing has one of the most amazing automotive collections in Southeast Asia. Hing, you have pretty much every Skyline GTR in existence, right? Yes. Which ones do you have? I have, uh, the following is uh, C10, R30, R31, R32, 33, 34, and 35. Wow. And one more coming is uh, Ken and Mary. So when that comes, you will literally have collected every Skyline. Of course. That's amazing. Okay, we're going to start with the Skyline collection and we're starting with the C10, the oldest and most collectible one. So the Peterson Museum actually wanted this video to do this garage tour because Hing originally won this award. This was in May, correct? Yes, Kai and Coffee Online. Okay, so it was an online car show because at that point, because of obvious reasons, we couldn't have real life car shows. Yes. And your C10 Skyline won that car show, right? Best award. Best award. Out of how many entrants? 120 something. So out of 120, My, this was uh, the winner. Entry 90, 99. The first area of the garage we're going to tour is the section that houses the R30, R31, and R32 GTR. The R30 Skyline GTR retains the FJ20 factory engine but has a Gretti single turbo conversion, Watanabe wheels, a roll cage, and Gretti seats. But besides that, the car is fully restored. Um, to be fair, every car in this garage is fully restored. Like they are perfect, not a single rock chip not a single imperfection. They are restored to better than new condition and then most of them fully built. It's really, really impressive. The R31 Skyline GTR was in horrible condition when Hing first bought it. It has gone through a full restoration process, including importing a full half cut from Japan. So Hing could pull the worn out RB25 that was swapped into the car out and replace that with the factory RB20, which should be in there. The car also has Watanabe wheels. Uh, you can see that's a reoccurring theme for Hing's cars. It has blitz coilovers and an R32 GTR brake conversion. The R32 is kind of the oddball out of the bunch. And I say that because every car in this garage is modified in some way, except for this R32. It's fully restored, like to better than showroom condition, but it's 100% factory, including the wheels. This is one of my favorite rooms in this garage because it houses my two favorite cars in the garage, the R33 and the R34 Skyline GTR. Both of these are fitted with some of the best, most expensive, rarest JDM parts available, and both make well over 500 horsepower. The R33 GTR has a full, legit Nismo 400R conversion built motor and it makes 630 wheel horsepower and it has some of the rarest Nismo parts you will find on a Skyline, including the ultra rare Nismo electronic dash. The Nismo dash. This part is extremely, extremely rare and very, very valuable. The R34 GTR is a V-Spec version 2 and it has a full auto select body conversion and it makes 574 wheel horsepower through a built 2.6 and a single turbo conversion. It's pretty sweet.
Ping's R35 GTR has an ETS 4.1 liter stroker, AMS Alpha 16 turbo kit, makes 1600 wheel horsepower, and this is one of the highest horsepower and fastest R35 GTRs in all of Asia. A few of the things that makes this car so special is the full Top Secret version 3 aero kit, the Top Secret OZ wheels, and endless carbon brakes. Another component of this car that's very special is the AeroMotion's active wing. The way this wing works is with the ECU that's mounted in the trunk. And when it senses the driver doing things like pressing the brake pedals or turning the steering wheel, it adjusts the aero accordingly. It's very special, very rare, and uh, extremely expensive. So this car is on Cyvex standalone engine management system, but it has the amazing MoTeC digital dash. Come on, check this out. Look at that, isn't that sweet? <laughs> and another thing, the seats that I'm sitting in right now, these are the very rare Nismo carbon seats. They're like $20,000 for a pair of these seats, if you can find one. The final GTR in Hing's collection is this. It's not really a GTR. It's actually a Dihatso Copen with the full Liberty Walk GTK conversion. We call it the baby GTR. It's a three cylinder turbocharged Japanese car and uh, it's just adorable. King's love for Japanese sports cars is not exclusive to the Skylines. He also has a Toyota Supra and an RX-7. I've been blessed enough to see a few Beelside RX-7s in my life, but Hing's is hands down the nicest one I've ever seen. It also uses work wheels and an R35 GTR brake conversion, a 13B single turbo, and makes about 500 wheel horsepower. Hing has had his Toyota Super for nine years. It is wide body, it has work wheels, R35 GTR brakes and makes 600 wheel horsepower using the factory engine with a single turbo and a Cyvex standalone engine management system. Here's a couple cars you wouldn't expect in this garage. Both this Mercedes and this Volvo, which by the way, the Volvo was Hing's first car, have two JZ swaps with single turbo conversions. This area of Hing's garage houses his 1937 Ford Custom and a really sweet Jeep we'd call the Jeep Rod. It has a Lexus V8 and seats from a US Army tank. Not even joking. <laughs> this thing is hilarious. This is Daihatsu walkthrough. All my American friends would just get a giant kick out of this thing. It's hilarious. Hing just uses it because it's cute and it's fun, and he likes to take his kids to school in it. And look, it's got like R compound racing tires on it. <laughs> what? <laughs> the 991.2 Porsche has Strass wheels. R35 GTR brakes, which is actually pretty common in this garage, and a fab speed exhaust. The 570-4 Superleggera has a built engine ETS twin turbo kit and over a thousand wheel horsepower. This Lexus SC400 was actually purchased in America, in Boston, where Hing went to college. He bought this car in 1997. After he finished school, he imported it back here to Thailand at a cost of a 200% import duty tax. The car now has work wheels, air ride suspension, and a billet supercharger from Australia. This is a Mitsubishi GTO. If you're one of my fellow Americans, you'll probably know it as a 3000 GT or maybe even a Dodge Stealth. This one is in pretty much perfect condition, very low mileage, basic bolt-ons, work wheels, and you guessed it, R35 GTR brakes. Follow me. We're going upstairs. This is pretty sweet. 
There's a bunch of really awesome collectible cars and a couple real cars up here as well. This is an actual Mini Cooper. Yes, it's a legit Mini Cooper that Hing bought, restored, and then chopped it up to make it into a desk. Yeah, it's a desk. The newer Mini Cooper is just your basic bolt-ons in tune with wheels and Evo 8 brakes, but the rest of this space is amazing. You have very rare collectible Nismo wheels on the wall. You have a GTR Transformer that's built out of car parts in the background. This thing is huge. It's as tall as I am. This area of Hing's garage also is home to one of the most epic model car collections I have ever seen in my life. One thing about this garage and hosting a garage tour of these spaces is it's almost overwhelming the amount of things that are in this garage. From these GTR calipers to these rare limited edition steering wheels, stuff like this is in every room everywhere. It takes days to go through this place if you truly want to see every rare part in every car. It's really, really impressive. See, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this. The GTR shift knobs, all the Skyline badges. You have GTR wallets, binoculars, a carbon fiber Nismo GTR helmet. This is what I'm talking about with this garage. I've been here multiple times over the past few years and every time I come here, I find something new that just totally blows my mind. This is Hing's living room inside of his garage. Remember, his house is next door. This is his actual garage, but he wanted a place for his friends and family to be able to hang out when they visited the garage. And it's beautifully appointed with tons of Skyline GTR models. Check them out, they're amazing. A lot of people collect model cars, but what makes these special is they're very limited edition, highly collectible, and come with their matching engines. This is Hing's kitchen slash meeting room. And in typical Hing fashion, all the seats are Sparco racing seats. This is the pool room. I mean, what would a garage be without a pool table? The pool room has a bunch of collectible model race cars as well as maps of legendary racetracks from around the world. And he even has a number three NASCAR, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Do it for Dale. This area of Hing's garage was originally a play space for his kids. Now as they're getting older, they've converted it into a library. I'm sure there's quite a few books in here about racing cars. So this is an additional, I guess you would call it living space here in Hing's garage. It even has a piano and foosball. Sweet. I'm gonna be honest, at this point, I've lost track of how many rooms are in this garage. This one, according to Hing, is the study room. Look, it's Hing. Hing has his own mural. Hing's garage. This is the gaming room of Hing's Garage. It includes multiple classic arcade games, including the legendary Initial D. Hing, thank you so much for letting us tour your epic garage here in Bangkok, Thailand. I've been here multiple times and every time I come here, this place blows my mind. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> and this guy has a YouTube channel as well. What's the name of your YouTube channel? Hing Garage. It's Hing Garage, that makes sense. Thank you for watching and thank you for Petra Museum. Let us meet you casing my garage. Yes. See you guys later. Peace. Peace.